Hi students, in our last class we learnt animals and their shelters. Shelters means the place where animals are we live. We live in our houses. Houses are our shelters. The same way animals have their own different shelters like birds live in cage, cows live in uh, cow shed live in stable or dogs live in kennel or when we have dogs as our pets we keep it in our house somewhere in a separate place or room okay such places are called shelters we also learned different type of animals like pet animals like pet dog, pet cat, parrot, uh, anything that we have as pet are called pet animals. And domestic animals also we saw like um, horse, cows, hens. These are all domestic animals. Domestic animals are useful for us because cows give us milk. So in one way it is very useful and we get the uh, cow dung for manure and horse for riding, carrying things, hens for meat and so on. We also learned their shelters, different shelters. As I said, cows are kept in a shed, cow shed, horses are kept in a stable, or hens are kept in a coop and sheep are in a pan. So these are like fish, are, fishes are kept in an aquarium dogs are kept in a kennel and birds are kept in a cage and so on we learnt and we also learnt uh, we should not overwork those domestic animals we should not give them lot of work we should take care of them as we take care of uh, our own our own members in the family so we should consider all our pet animals and domestic animals as one of our family members. We have to give them bath very often. We have to give them water. Whatever they need, we need to give them. When they fall sick, we have to take to the take to the veterinary doctor. Okay, we have to take them for better treatment and we have to make them well. Now we are going to see in our class is some unwanted animals in our house. There are so many unwanted animals sometimes we see in our house. What are they? For example, house flies, mosquitoes, cockroaches, and uh, spider, lizard, uh, bed bugs, some bugs, no? So they are called pests. Pest in the sense like bug or any animal like rat okay rat is also one of the pests they are destructive destructive insects or animals they they cause illness they infect us okay we may fall sick when we see them or when we uh, have them in our home we have to immediately get rid of those unwanted animals or bugs that's what we are going to see in this class we often see some animals in our house which we would not like to have would you like to have rat in your house no would you like to have cockroach in your house no do you like to have mosquitoes in your house no so we don't want all these animals spiders and so on coming to our house so they enter our house like our neighbors or our relatives as guests mehman we say so they are, we don't want all these unwanted animals bugs into our house because they often spoil our things like bed bugs 
get into beds and they simply slowly eat up and the bed gets spoiled and same way cockroach gets into the kitchen and spoils the food rats the same thing mosquitoes sometimes bite us we may fall sick so we, these all cause some illness some uh, you know harm for us so unwanted animals in our house that spoil our things are called pests this is what i said in the beginning these animals are called pests they are actually to spoil to spoil the house and the environment and harm for us okay and uh, like uh, rats hmm? pests are like rats lizards cockroaches spiders mosquitoes and house flies are all some unwanted animals that we see in our house very often we see this kind of, these things in our house so what we need to do to get, get rid of them we need to use uh, some um, some substance that can kill like spray cockroach spray is there mosquito spray mosquito net is there so many things are there plus we have to keep the clean we have to keep the house very clean so that they don't enter very often we have to clean when we see them just here we have to note lizards are useful to us in one way because they eat insects like flies or uh, mosquitoes when they enter in our house inside our house lizards eat them up so in one way lizards are useful watch a lizard on the wall of your house if you have observed a lizard on on a wall okay on your you know in your house observe how it uses its long sticky tongue lizards have long tongue zip hai na so long hai usko zip long hai or sticky tongue to catch insects sticky tongue means what uh, it it sticks no way to to escape okay when it uh, puts its tongue tongue to catch uh, the insects it doesn't leave it is very difficult to escape from lizard's tongue so it easily catches those insects so in one way lizards are useful to us when they are at home in our house and the factopedia says what house flies are considered the most dangerous creatures look at that house flies are the most dangerous creatures in the world as they carry germs germs means we learned what microorganism which is very small which we cannot see which we cannot see but it causes illness like virus bacteria can we see no we cannot see so those simply are carried by house flies and spread the maximum infection maximum infection means we get infected okay we get infected by those germs hmm, virus and bacteria okay so in order to keep the house very clean what we have to do in order to get rid of those unwanted animals what we have to do in our house it is difficult to keep pests out of our house totally it is really difficult the more you kill you get rid of them the more they keep coming because they multiply very soon they multiply in number very fast they grow very fast like cockroaches grow very fast they if if we leave one cockroach in our kitchen it will simply multiply in one week there will be so many and therefore it is not easy to get rid of all the pests you know totally out of our house but we can get rid of them to a large extent by keeping our houses and surroundings clean still we can try to get rid of them you know in large extent hmm? a lot of them can be gotten rid we can 
get rid of those un- uh, unwanted bugs or insects from our house how we can do that sweep the floors every day mop the floor with disinfectants like phenyl see i told you in our last lesson we studied how to keep our house clean we have to keep mopping every day we have to do uh, what what we have to use we have to use disinfectants disinfect like fennel and uh, harpic and some other lysol so these these are called disinfectants so they can kill the germs that are on the floor or in the house keep all food items covered in the kitchen because flies and cockroaches get attracted towards food when we keep uh, the food uncovered not covering they simply come and just go over the food and they eat and they love those uh, old food items and so on and the flies go and touch the food item and we eat so we get infected by those things so what we have to do we have to keep all the food items covered in the kitchen have wire mesh fixed on your doors and windows the same point we learned in our last lesson we have to have a wire mesh in the picture you see the third picture says it is shown wire mesh is shown in the third picture so at the window sill we have to have wire mesh fixed on the door as well in the window because this will prevent flies and mosquitoes from entering your house so this will stop the mosquitoes and flies from entering the houses so remove the cobwebs cobwebs means what spider web you know spider and spider builds its own web you know like nest it is called cobweb in our house regularly when we see them we have to okay and the next one is says keep the drains of your house covered last time i told you drains means what those water which we use okay like for washing or for bathing we use that water and the water gets out water gets out of our house how it gets out gets out through drains that so the drains that uh, that gets the water wasted water out of our home should be covered we have to make sure that drains are covered okay and spray them with the pesticides again pesticides is a liquid or any powder or any substance that kills virus and germs the same like disinfectant the same pesticides after regular intervals of time very now and then you have to uh, see that drains are covered and all these pesticides are used as uh, sprayed okay like my mosquito spray sometimes from panchayat uh, board they come and spray on the drains you may have seen in uh, your areas okay the so same thing and keep the surroundings of your house very clean not only inside the house but also the surrounding around our house we have to make sure things are neat and it is clean and do not throw garbage outside your house when we eat anything we don't throw anything outside the house there is dustbin so we have to it all or fly anything can come and stay there and they will start multiplying they will grow so that should be avoided so for that we have to keep the surrounding of our house clean as well as we should not throw garbage here and there or outside our house 
do not let water collect around your house that means we should not allow water to stay around our house we have to make a way for the water to to move on not staying in one place when water stays in certain place for long time it is called stagnant water it becomes dirty and those mosquitoes all come and lay eggs there and they will multiply in big numbers and therefore we have to get the water out not around our house outside through a canal or anything okay like flies cockroaches and mosquitoes get attracted towards garbage if we throw garbage outside our house all these you know unwanted uh, flies like mosquitoes and cockroaches and flies all would come there and they would stay there mosquitoes lay eggs in stagnant water stagnant water means very dirty which does not move it does not flow it does not move it just stays in one place and it becomes dirty water becomes dirty and in the dirty water mosquitoes come and lay their eggs so by keeping our house and surroundings clean we can protect ourselves we can prevent our this is clear the same points we study in our last lesson as well when we learned how to keep the house clean okay and the oral question says what answer yes or no answer with yes or no does lay eggs on stagnant water mosquitoes and lizards are rat eat insects lizards remove dash dash from your house regularly okay what we have to remove we should not remove wire mesh we have to remove cobwebs from our house regularly keep all food items covered or uncovered we have to keep all the food items covered always okay let's have a quick recall of the lesson what we learnt for pet animals we learnt about pet animals uh, in the beginning of the lesson so pet animals are kept in our homes okay pet animals require our love and care as we love our friends and our family members we need to you know take care of them with the love and care a domestic animals are kept in, kept on farms in different places for those hens cattle cows buffaloes or horse anything any domestic animal so animals are kept in special shelters in farms in those special uh, special shelters we learned like dogs are kept in kennel and uh, hens in coop so we we saw all those things and unwanted animals like mosquitoes flies cockroaches rats enter our house and spoil our things yes it does spoil our things and they are also called pests unwanted animals are called pests okay they are pests so we can get rid of these pests by keeping our ho- homes and our surroundings clean we have to keep our house and the surrounding of the house very clean so that we can get rid of all these unwanted animals they are called pests i hope you have understood and if you have any doubt we can discuss in our class and you go through the exercise you try to do on your own and i will give you the answer in our next class thank you very much